Hey guys, it's Mark. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are working on upper cabinets. We've got the first one built behind me and this is the second one. We've got a bunch of video footage on every step we took and we're going to put a video together and we'll probably release it next weekend so you'll be able to follow along on each step of this. But what I want to do now is post a short video on a problem that we found with our electrical calculation. Actually, we didn't find it, one of our viewers found it. So Shane, if you're out there, thank you so much for uh, finding this for us. This is gonna be a big help. Now on YouTube, there's no real way to post an updated video or anything like that, at least not that I know of. So we've got, we wanna post this as sort of an addendum to that and show you what the miscalculation was. Um, I will link the uh, old video up here so that you can go and watch it if you want to to kind of get an idea of the calculations we used, but I'm gonna take you to my computer right now and show you what went wrong and how we fixed it. So if you remember what we did from our first electrical video, we basically calculated the total power draw of the LAN per day. So we basically took each device, figured out what its power requirements are, then we basically figured out the amount of time each day that that device would be in service and we came across with an entire um, overall calculation for the day. And for us, that number was 193.11 amp hours per day, which we figured would be great because we've got 200 amps of battery power. However, it was a little problem. So if you remember our setup in the van, we've got 12 volt batteries feeding an inverter charger within, which then converts those 12 volts to 120 volts and then feeds our AC devices here we're looking at the induction cooktop, which draws 1800 watts at full power. Now, if you remember the Ohm's law calculations, watts is equal to volts times amps. So we apply that to the AC side and we've got 1800 watts, 120 volts, that gives us 16.67 amps. That's fine. But now when we look at what it takes to feed into the inverter for that, the DC side is where we had the problem. So here you've got that same 1800 watts, but now you've only got 12 volts. So, so the amperage here is actually 166.70. So not 16.67 amps. And that's where our problem came up. So now if we look at the total power usage per day, taking into account this new calculation, we don't have 193.11 amp hours any longer. Now we have a whopping 982.32 amp hours per day, which totally blows away our batteries. So since we posted that video, we've made a couple changes to the electrical system uh, in the van. For, for one, we installed a 12 volt um, Frisair AC unit. So we no longer need the portable air conditioning unit because that thing takes up a ton of electricity. Now, truth be told, in the dead of summer here, it is blazing hot, it is really humid. Not sure that that uh, Frisair AC unit is gonna cover it. So we likely will carry a small AC unit with us if we go to somewhere that's even warmer than here or somewhere in this area. And we'll likely only use it when we're connected to shore power. So we're not actually gonna include that in the calculation because we'll never use it except in very hot days and only when we're connected to shore power. So the portable AC unit is gone and the 12 volt unit has taken its place. So the calculations here are gonna look a little different. Let me show you. And here we've got a total of 403.92 amp hours per day. Now that is certainly higher than the 200 battery system that we have. We thought about adding a third battery, but I think what we're gonna do is run off of the two batteries. I have a good friend who lives out of a van and he's been running off of one battery for the last, I think, two years. So he's only recently added his second. So we're gonna chance it and run with only two batteries and see if it meets our needs. I don't suspect that we're gonna be using these devices as much as I think. There might be other devices that we forgot that we're gonna use. So I'd like to kind of go forward and kind of get an average of what our real usage is per day. And then if we need to add in a third battery, we'll certainly do that. But for now, we're gonna keep it to two and just hope that it accommodates what we need. So that's it guys, quick video today. I just wanted to make sure that we had those numbers calculated correctly so that if you're following along, and you're using these calculations for your own van,
that you're doing it correctly. We really try to make sure that the stuff we post is accurate, but this one just totally got away from us. So Shane, again, if you're watching, thanks for, uh, thanks for catching this uh, for us. So we will be back next week. We're gonna do the upper cabinets, uh, get them installed, and then we'll have a video on how exactly we built those. If you haven't already followed the channel, we hope you'll do so. Click that subscribe button, give us a like or a thumbs up, and we love your comments. Comments is how we figure out this problem. So we always love hearing from you guys and getting great suggestions on how to move forward. So until then, we will see you next week. If you're in the US, hope you have a happy Thanksgiving, and we'll talk to you next weekend.